All right, what's up, Amaya? And today I will show you how to fix the hypervisor partition error in VirtualBox or Virtual Machine. This is a universal method of fixing the any hypervision partition error. As you can see, I have an error here. It is showing me not in the hypervisor partition. Hyper something is not available, and we need to change the properties in the BIOS settings. This is a small segment of the video that I did in the full length video of VirtualBox in my previous video. So this is just a small piece of it. I'm gonna show you how to fix it. So let's go. First of all, we need to turn off our system. As you can see, I am shutting down my PC, my laptop, whatever you wanna call it. And now it's shutting down. This happens in everything, I mean for VirtualBox, if you're using any virtual machine, this happens a lot. This is a BIOS setting, so we need to go to the BIOS of my laptop. Here we have the boot menu. In the BIOS setup, you can see we get, need to change the configuration. And here we have the Intel Virtual Technology. If you're using an AMD CPU, so you might get something related to virtual technology. We just need to enable this option. And then we need to exit saving changes. We need to save the changes and then exit. Here we go. Now let's wait for it to boot up. The settings will be automatically applied and whenever you, you run the virtual machine, it will open up without causing any single errors. Let me show you. Okay, now the boot up is done. Let's open the virtual box again. I have virtual box right here. Let's run as administrator. Okay, now whenever I just start the virtual box, I mean the virtual machine of my Kali Linux. If you want to know how to make virtual box or how to use virtual box or set up any setup, you can check the previous video link given in the description. And now as you can see virtual machine is running, this is the preview, this is the actual virtual machine. And I can use it as normal. You need to change the settings once but not again and again. So this is how you fix the hypervisor partition error in virtual box or virtual machine. Whichever one you are using. Anyway that's been it, thanks for watching, I will catch you in the next one, take care. So please subscribe, like and comment as well. Thanks for watching. Catch you guys in the next one. Take care.